it's way too early on a Sunday. I'm feeling a bit awkward, but there's not that many people out. But we're going to Disneyland today, so I'm really hyped, even though I got like six hours of sleep. <laughs> Yes, ignore everything in my background as always. Uh, oh my god, there's like trash lying around. But welcome back to my YouTube channel. This would be the part now where I would have to uh, like sit up my Disney ears, like those two things, you know, that you buy at Disneyland or Disney Sea, which I'm going to talk about today. But actually, I didn't buy any because I'm a student struggling for money and I'm not gonna spend one day's worth of food on ears that I'm never gonna wear again. Can we just edit them here or something so I look like I've actually been to Disney Sea? Um, yeah. Anyway. Disney Sea Review. Hey, are you ready? Are you ready? Feels weird for me to be actually talking about Disney because I was the person I never thought I would actually go to Disney Sea or Disneyland because I I'm not really obsessed with Disney. Like I like it of course and I've watched the movies when I was a child. Of course, I remember those Saturdays where you were allowed to watch television and they would show all these animated Disney classics. Um and of course I loved them because who doesn't as a child? You know, Disney is amazing. Growing up, I also thought I would never support a Disney as a company. <laughs> okay, no, I don't want to make this like this capitalistic complaint. I just want to raise the awareness. Yes, I understand that Disney isn't flawless in all that it's doing and it has a lot of problems as a company as well. That being said, I indulged in a day of being a capitalistic very much person and went to Disney Sea because capitalism really popped off today, ladies. So cute. Are you shitting me? <laughs> capitalism really popped off today. Yeah, that, that meme you know from TikTok. That was me yesterday. We went to Disney Sea because in Tokyo there's actually two different Disney parks. We've got Disneyland, which is like the classic, the traditional, like you know, in LA and Paris as well. And we've got Disney Sea. And I've never been to any of them, but my friends also said go to Disney Sea because A it's more like the adult park so you've got more rides that are geared towards adults and it's also not as much of the Disney park and really I was surprised how little like I guess a lot of Disney still was in the park of course but it's not like all the Disney princesses are everywhere or Mickey Mouse is around every corner that's always like I feel like Disney Sea really is its own world in a way it's like a park crafted by Disney with a lot of their ideas and movies and thoughts in mind but not necessarily only the children's or only the fairy tale movies, if that makes any sense. So also, please learn from my experience. We went <laughs> on a Sunday before Christmas. A, do you know how hard it was to get those tickets? They were all sold out like years ago. Like, no, really, it was so hard. I think my friend finally was just lucky that she entered the site on a time where all the tickets weren't sold out or some came back or something like that. There were 35,000 people, 35,000 tickets were sold for that day. It was full, it was packed. And if I would give you a recommendation, if you want to go Disney, to Disney Sea, maybe don't go on a Sunday before Christmas. That's like the time where everybody's there. So we had a lot of long wait times for everything. And also I had a struggle in the beginning with my train because it somehow took a different route than I was expecting it to. So I arrived half an hour late. So we were there at 9.30 and we had to even wait at the gate to be like, to be entering for like an hour or something. And after that, we raced to our first ride because we were like, the ride times are only getting longer throughout the day. There were certain rides where you would have to wait three hours to get a chance for like this two minute experience. That was not what I was about. I'd rather than walk around the park or something or take some photos or see the other things than wait three hours <laughs> for a ride that takes two minutes. I'm sorry, I'm not that kind of girl. I'd rather go back then sometime to Disney. Like if you were to go to Disney, maybe go on like a Monday morning or something where nobody's there. I think that would be a better experience. But before we're going to talk about the experience itself, now that I've talked about the tickets, I also quickly want to talk about the things that you maybe need to keep in mind when you enter the park. A, download the Disney Resort app. Really, it's so handy. A, you see the wait times for all the things. You see the wait times for restaurants. You can book restaurants. You can um, see where all the rides are. It always knows where you are. It's kind of creepy, actually, when I think about it. It's really just really helpful. And also, you can enter the event ruffles through that. At Disney Sea, you've got these certain show times for different shows, but you can't book the shows. There's no thing where you're like, oh, I want to see this show or this show at that time. You can only choose a time and then you enter a raffle and you're not even guaranteed to get a ticket, but you might get one, you know? So A, you raffle for the show and B, you raffle for your seats and the tickets. But it's something you need to keep in mind because if you don't do that at the beginning of entering the park, you're not gonna get any tickets for any times of the shows and that's kind of misfortunate. We were actually, actually super fortunate because 
unlike me, my friend is a very lucky girl. Like I'm the one who brings all the unfortunate misfortune and she's the one who has good luck and good graces, I guess. She took the ruffle and we got the Christmas show, which is the special that's only on in December. I want to talk about this right now, actually. So Christmas at Disney Sea. A, of course, they've got pretty decorations, but actually it was kind of like, we were both kind of surprised how little Christmas bird there actually was in the park. Like, of course, they had beautiful decorations and at nighttime it was really visible that there was some Christmas spirit there. But it wasn't like there was a, a, like a special thing at every corner. Like even in the restaurants, we only saw like a Christmas special soup. Like there wasn't even like Christmas special cupcakes or something. I don't know. Maybe we just didn't see them as well though. But we felt like it wasn't super, super Christmassy like you might expect from Disney. But we did go to that Christmas show, which I guess was the most Christmassy special that I had on during that time. And that was the most fever dream I've ever had. <laughs> the most fever dream I've ever had. That's like a fever dream as well. It was like, there were like these four singers and then they there was like Mickey, Minnie, Donald, um, I think Pluto, Goofy, and yeah, those were all, I think, dancing with them on stage, singing Christmas songs. It actually, if you think about it, it might be a nightmare of somebody. Like, maybe I'm actually gonna have nightmares about this. Also because there was this other character, I forgot his name, it's some kind of bear. And that kind of bear and their friends were everywhere, and I've never seen him. Have I been out of touch with a Disney game? Who is he? Where did he come from? Is he Japan exclusive? Do you know? What's this bear called? I actually want to Google this quickly. Ah, Duffy. Duffy the Disney bear. Does anybody know Duffy the Disney bear? I've never heard about Duffy the Disney bear. But apparently he's very important inside the Disney universe. And um, because he was alongside Mickey and Minnie dancing there in the center. And everybody loved him. And everybody like bought his merch and not the Mickey merch. Also his friend, he's got like a pink fox friend or something. That character was so popular, we saw everybody running around with them. Also back to the topic of Disney ears. Yes, everybody had Disney ears. Everybody. I was the odd one out. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm not gonna spend money on that when I only will use it once. That's another thing about Disneyland or Disney Sea, I guess I didn't realize, is that you pay money to enter the park to pay money for stuff at the park. Like some people were doing their flat out year long shopping there, I felt like like everybody was walking around with these really big shopping bags that they like had from the souvenir stores. Everybody had like pl plushies or or different kind of heads or like there was just so much stuff to buy and everybody seemingly bought all that stuff and I was just like why is everybody spending so much money here like I'd rather spend money on food or something or on another ticket to come back here sometime but yeah so be aware that you are gonna spend some coin inside the park as well if you are into merch you're gonna spend more coin than the normal person would on a normal day out um, for me it was only the coin for the food which was all in all, everything I ate was amazing. We tried these little um, mochi things that were they had. I'm gonna insert a picture somewhere here. They were really yummy, but I'm not so much into sweet food, so my friend ate the rest of them. Um, then we also had, I had like a pizza dough thing that was like clapped together. You could eat that, that was amazing. We also had then lunch, which was at one of the cafeterias. It was at the buffeteria or something which was salmon for me and it was honestly amazing like the sauce tasted like I was in Croatia or something I felt like transported to a holiday the whole day felt like I was on holiday actually because while you're in Disney Sea everything feels like you're in a, diff a different world you've got all these different scenes like Venice you really feel like you enter these universe and it's so weird because everything is fake <laughs> and it makes you question things because at the beginning I was like wow this is all amazing and then my friend pointed out like, it's, isn't it amazing that all the trees are fake here? And I was like, what do you mean all the trees are fake? And she was like, what do you think that in December everything's just evergreen here or what? And I was like, oh my god, she's right. Like, everything was fake down to the dirt. And I was just like, oh my god, this park is crazy. Like, you enter this fully fake world, but it's so seemingly real that you are just transported into it. Honestly, it was the craziest theme park experience I've ever had in my life. Um, and I would definitely do it again. Back to the food. I think we all said the churros and like one of these chocolate sticks, which were 10 out of 10, like the cinnamon churros. I want a cinnamon churro now. Just what I mean is like, definitely go and do eat stuff there. It's amazing. But also one recommendation, if you can, eat a breakfast before the park because it might be some time before you actually go get some food and also you have to queue for the food for like half an hour or something most of the time. So I would recommend a solid base before you go there. Also because our thing was like when we entered, we rushed to the most popular ride that we wanted to do because we were aware that there were gonna be long wait times. So if we got there really early, then the wait time would be a little bit better. And our number one ride that we wanted to do, which had a long wait time was Indiana Jones. And I've 
I haven't done any of the rides in Disney and actually also wanted to do the uh, like journey to the center of the earth one but that one just consistently had two hour wait times and we're like no the time was going by so quickly anyway so spending two hours standing there wouldn't have been worth it probably i want to go next time though um but the indiana jones ride was also so much fun it was like the perfect balance of action but also not too action rich because i can't do very crazy rides like looping rides or like shaky rides i get ill i get sick like really i'm not the person you want to go like to roller coaster rides with i won't be able to do them but that one was just the perfect balance of everything and it was fun and action rich and I came out of it just feeling energized and amazed and at what like technical stuff can do also like I, I feel like this is really so big like Disney Sea is like a city in itself there's so many people working there there's so much stuff to do I really would recommend it for everybody like it's worth the money and I don't say that lightly because I've been thinking a long time if I want to spend that money. I feel like I'm hyping it up a lot, but honestly, maybe it was because I went in there with like no expectation whatsoever. I maybe expected even less because I only heard about Disneyland and never about Disney Sea. Um, so I went in with like zero expectations and all of my expectations were blown out of the water because it was just honestly... Yeah. Loki rides that are kind of... Loki and underrated ride that isn't too bad and wait time is actually the Simbad one um, it has like a lot of dolls there and is really amazing as well one ride I want to do next time as well is the Toy Story one because it's supposed to be really fun as well but the wait times there were also always crazy my favorite part of the park was probably the Italy park like the Venice one we also did one of the Venice boat trips throughout the sea I would really recommend that as well because it gives you a whole new perspective on the sea and on the lake and the scenery because they actually go out in the sea like anything that goes onto the lake really do one of these rides because you get a whole nother perspective of how big and beautiful everything is so that was really amazing and also I really love the just American town I think what did they call it American waterfront or something we also did the like train that goes from American waterfront to like the aquatic part of the park um, that one was also amazing just for scenery and everything and uh, the American waterfront just really has this New York vibe especially at Christmas because they decorate everything like I feel like maybe New York would decorate it all in all I would say I had an amazing day we were maybe a little bit too much on our feet like you're gonna stand on your feet all day so we left a little bit early before the evening light show but the evening light show I guess is really the event because there were a lot of people camping three hours before at the waterfront to get the best seats like how can you sit there in the cold for three hours just waiting for like a 10 minute show again probably it was good I'm gonna experience it next time like I really want to stay until the like closing of the park next time and see what uh, goes on at the end of it because I think they really have amazing shows light shows at the end of it um, and that would be my recommendation though stay until the end or at least until it gets dark so you see the full beauty of it also by night time because during the day it's beautiful but during the night it's beautiful you know so really stay the whole day also you're gonna need the whole day like I thought I don't know why I went into this thinking that I'm gonna be done at 5 p.m. I'm like okay I'm gonna go home then and I can do homework and stuff like that so I pushed a lot of like my homework back but then while we we're in there I realized I'm not gonna be home before 10 no that's not gonna happen <laughs> anyway thank you so much for watching this video of me rambling about Disney Sea. I give it a 10 out of 10 please go if you have the chance and the money to do it because it's really worth the experience I'd say it's a one-of-a-kind theme park I'd say and I think you won't get a similar experience anywhere else in the world so it's a Tokyo exclusive why not do it <laughs> anyways always thank you so much for watching this video um, I hope you enjoyed it and have a nice day have a nice night wherever you are bye and back on my channel okay let me quickly show you my setup actually <laughs> um, true professionalism, that's what it looks like.